I'm gonna bring my room to you, I'm gonna bring my couch, I'm gonna bring where I'm the most comfortable to you and do me, you feel me? Jerron Anthony Brathwaite, aka Party Next Door, born July 3rd, 1993. Today's feature is an artist that really had the chance to be one of the biggest R&B artists of the last decade with as much talent he has and dedicated fan base he's built since 2013. It's 2022 now, soon to be a full decade he's been in the game and those same fans repeatedly have to ask where's Party Next Door? In that span, he's released three albums well spread out with his last coming two years ago, March 2020. He recently popped up online, but not with new music, but in a shock video a fan posted showing Party looking a lot different than he did last time he came out of his shell and made the news. No pun intended, but he looks anything but recognizable, and some fans even fear he may not be in a healthy space. Meaning, there's no telling when a fresh new album will drop or at least some kind of project put together that'll make the weight his fans have endured worth it. Those same fans have had this issue with Party Next Door since the beginning where he's always been slow to release music which worked for him when he was a new artist because it gave him a mysteriousness about him so that whenever he did pop up at least he came with great music and you knew he was working behind the scenes. But as of now, that mysterious persona is working against him because he's completely allowed his fan base to grow without him and lose interest in the waiting game. There's no question Party Next Door has the talent, had the look I should say, and most importantly the opportunity. Working with the biggest name in hip hop for the last 10 years and a guy whose celebrity reaches every corner of American culture. The Jewish, half-white, half-black singer and rapper, sports and comedy show host made for the headlines Aubrey Graham aka Drake. Just that affiliation alone could have made a talent like Party Next Door as popular as he wanted to be and unquestionably the biggest or at least one of the biggest R&B artists at some point in his career. But just like his personality, Party's music also flies well under the radar or leaks so often that interest can't even be created. He'll release an album, then take two years off with no new music. Or like he did after his 2016 release, take four years off from releasing a new project. Then show up with 12 to 15 songs, a Drake slash Rihanna feature for the charts and radio, then disappear into the shadows once again. I feel like one more disappearing act and the party will be over, so to speak, at least for the potential he once had in music. For these reasons, Party Next Door's growth has been stunning. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth Music. Let's get it, man. Y'all ready to keep this thing moving? Party Next Door is an R&B artist from Ontario, Canada that became attracted to music due to his father playing it in the house as a young child. He's always been into music but always conflicted because he knew it wasn't a great fit for his personality. But he was great at it and had a deep-rooted passion toward it as well. By 18 years old, he was signed by Warner, but not as an artist, as a songwriter, and in the same year, became the first artist to sign to Drake's OVO label. He released his first mixtape self-titled in July that year that included 10 songs and a coveted Drake feature. He continued to work with Drake on various projects in the upcoming years, some even say a little too much, as he's given out many songs and ideas to acts like Drake and even Rihanna that fans wish he kept for himself. He released his debut album July 2014 featuring the hit single Recognize Yes featuring Drake that became a top 10 Billboard song and went double platinum by itself. The album went gold, which is a favorable start for a guy beginning as just a songwriter. Stunt number one, behind the scenes. One of the biggest reasons Party Next Door hasn't had the growth as an artist as expected is because naturally at this point, I think he's simply not meant to be at the forefront. He's mainly a behind the scenes person at heart and it spills over into his music, making him seem uncomfortable with the success he's been thrust into, especially signing to the biggest, most in the spotlight artists of this generation. 
But we have to remember that Party Next Door was signed initially as a songwriter. He's never had intentions of becoming an R&B star, much less a ladies man like he was back in 2013-14. For those who don't know, Party Next Door used to be a heavier set male than he is today, which may have made him that much more recluse and insecure about the cameras. Everything about Party Next Door seems like a guy struggling with the fame that comes along with being a great artist and it's held him back from becoming the superstar fans expected him to evolve into. Whether his expectations has aligned with that has yet to be seen. As far as what he was hired to do, Party Next Door has been an elite songwriter in addition to any major artist looking for a penned hit. He's written for The Weeknd, DJ Khaled, Kanye West, SZA, and of course, a bunch of tracks for Drake and his biggest pen song to date, Work, in which he catered for Rihanna, one of the biggest songs of 2016 and prime Party Next Door pen. In life, everyone can't be the center of attention. Most great things that get done have multiple different hands on the table to create and see it through as you may be better at something than I and vice versa pertaining to something else. Music is no different. Party Next Door is an elite songwriter, one of the best ever. He just wasn't built to be the face and this only became a problem when he aligned himself with the industry of fame. Stunt number two, long breaks. Secondly, Party Next Door as an artist takes too many hiatuses to make him grow into the superstar many of his fans thought he would be by now and it all stems from stunt number one. In almost 10 years since he was first signed to a major label and began releasing music as an artist, Party Next Door has put out three albums. One in 2014 that went gold, Two years later, another 2016 that also enjoyed gold status featuring Come and See Me with Drake that became his biggest song to date that went more than three times platinum. But after that, another four years before releasing album number three in 2020. That one featured Drake, Rihanna and Bad Bunny and has yet to reach the gold success of his previous two. I assume because it's difficult to keep the attention of fans of this era who need new music at least every year from an artist like Party Next Door. Full length projects they know you've taken the time to develop, not just a single or EP here and there. That may work for a different artist, but for one with a talent and demand like Party Next Door, those long breaks have been a detriment to his career. Stunt number three, social media presence. And finally, I'm not sure if he's actually being deliberate in this, but his social media presence for extended periods of time have been virtually non-existent. On Instagram, his last post was almost a year ago. This year on Twitter, he's made 9 total tweets. In 2022, if you're an artist and not taking full advantage of social media, you're clearly doing yourself and your fans a disservice. Yes, social media is just a tool at the end of the day, and the music should speak for itself in a perfect world of supply and demand. But what has evolved in society is access. As a fan, you have 24-hour access to everything your favorite artist is doing, and some fans literally live off that, even if there's no interaction between the two. Them seeing you active goes a long way in keeping those fans motivated to work for you as a street team of sorts to share, like, and comment on your new music, giving it traction within the algorithm. Another involvement of creating that too pushes your art and creates a larger audience for you as an artist. Having a strong social presence is not only key, it's a must in these days and Party Next Door could have taken a little more advantage of it. All in all, Party Next Door can do whatever he sees fit. He's worked with some of the greats in hip-hop and R&B and has built a cult-like following even though that has dwindled over the past few years. Some people come into this game with different goals and who knows, maybe he's reached the ones he set out to. I guess now he feels he can relax, eat obviously, and not worry about the race to number one in music even though fans wish that wasn't the case. Salute, much respect, but for these reasons, Party Next Door's growth was stunning. It's your boy JC, Stunner Growth Music, and I'm out.